my channel. So today's video is going to be another crochet braid video. I am so excited to be doing this one for you guys today. Shout out to Toyo Trust for sponsoring today's video. I am absolutely in love with this style. And if you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I have worked with Toyo Trust a few times before and I have loved all of the styles you guys all of the styles like I have yet to be disappointed so I will definitely link all of my previous reviews for this company in the description box down below so you guys can check them out okay but before we jump into today's video definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below turn your post notifications on give the video a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel welcome boo okay so we're gonna go ahead and start today's video off with a tutorial like we usually do I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my braiding pattern we're gonna unbox the hair so you guys will be able to see it straight out of the pack and everything and then I will actually show you guys how I install the hair with my beater since we do not use a crochet latch hook over here girl we don't do that we use a beater okay so we'll be going over that as well and then after the tutorial part we'll go ahead and discuss the final thoughts okay girl so i decided to go ahead and just do a little voiceover for today's video so as you guys can see we are unboxing the hair it looks bomb straight out of the pack i am absolutely in love with the color that burgundy to the red girl it just looks so good okay so we're going to go ahead and split the hair so we take one piece we're going to split it in half and then we're going to come clump it back together using that downy water mixture if you are not new to my channel girl you have already seen this and if you have not seen it you definitely need to go check out the video i don't know if you'll be able to do this technique if you do not use the downy water mixture this might not work for you you might just have a big frizzy mess girl so you might just want to go ahead and pick up that downy so that you can split the hair and get a clump back together so it's looking good so just go ahead and slide it through your fingers twirl it around a little bit girl so you can clump those curls back together and it's gonna be perfect Okay, some of y'all may be tempted to use like some mousse or something, but I honestly don't know if that's going to have the same effect. I personally don't like mousse, so I really, really recommend that you go ahead and get the downy mixture if you want to try this technique of splitting the hair. Now we're going to go ahead and jump right into the braiding pattern. You know, girl, it's always the same. 14 cornrows going straight back. I went ahead and crisscrossed the middle because I will be doing an invisible part for today's style. So we're going to go ahead and use that beater. You can get this beater from Walmart, Amazon, Beauty Supply Store. Girl, I highly recommend this over the latch hook. The latch hook is just a no, no for me. It snags your hair and it is just, it's not the move. Okay, so all you guys were able to see is that we went ahead and pushed that beater forward through the braid so that we can have um, no knots in the front. So you're just going to pull through one piece instead of two. You're going to knot it twice. You're going to tug just a little bit, girl. Don't pull too tight. We want to save the edges. Okay. Okay, but go ahead and make sure to pull it tight and then we're gonna do this around the whole perimeter of the braid so or the front of the head so go ahead and push the beater forward you have your little loop pull through one piece instead of two knot it twice pull just a little bit and then that's it girl real real simple okay Okay, you guys see I've finished the whole front of my head. So all I'm doing is taking one piece and kind of clipping it in the back. And I'm doing that so that we're gonna knot um, two to three pieces of hair on top of that um, piece of crochet braid hair. So that's just gonna help to be able to keep that knot in place so it doesn't get loose and it doesn't start to show in the front. This is my first time doing this method, but I find that it worked out really, really well. So I would definitely be continuing to do this. So for all of the rest of those pieces, you're gonna knot it on normally, okay? You're just gonna knot it twice on the hair, pull both pieces through, real, real simple. So basically I use those half strands in the front of my head and then in the back I install pieces just as they came out of the pack. With this, you wanna make sure that you do not put the hair too close together, girl, please. Please do not put it too close together. Do not pile up a whole bunch of hair in this crochet braid style. It is extremely unnecessary. In the top part, I used two finger widths apart. In the back, I did three finger widths apart, okay? And you guys can see the crochet is popping. It's popping, period, girl. It's giving very much Spice Girls very much 90s baddie okay loving the color y'all can see the hair is looking a little bit red girl because i put some hair paint wax all around my edges and a little bit in my eyebrows too okay if you watch the vlogs girl you didn't already see me put this in my eyebrows okay so 
yes, it's a winner. Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what y'all think of this style. Let me know how y'all like the voiceover. Is the voiceover helpful? You feel like it's better than just listening to music, girl? Let me know. Let me know down below. Okay, guys, so that was a tutorial on the hair. Hopefully it was super helpful. If you guys are still a little confused about how to use the beater, I do have a specific dedicated video to that. So I will link that in the cards for you guys as well as in the description box down below. But I do use the beater in pretty much every single crochet braid video. So even if you guys just go watch my previous reviews from the Toyo Tress um, hair crochet line, you guys will be able to see me use the beater in those videos as well. So yes, let's go ahead and talk about everything about the hair. Okay, so here's the hair I have right here. So I know there was a little confusion on my last video about what was going on with the Toyo Tress versus the Rock Tress. And y'all were confused about the hair because it was coming from my Amazon link. So Toyo Trust and Rock Trust are the same company. Um, Rock Trust is their Amazon store and then Toyo Trust is their other website. So when you, I'm saying Toyo Trust, but when you get this hair, it's gonna say Rock Trust on it, as well as the one from the last video. So if you guys watch my J Wand Curl video, this bag says Rock Trust on it. So I don't even know. Y'all should be able to see it on there. It says Rock Trust. And then this hair also says Rock Trust. Okay, so they are the same. I asked the person that I work with from Toyo Tress about it so that I could explain to you guys what was going on because I know some of y'all were confused about that. But the hair that I show you is the hair that you will be getting from the Amazon store. Okay, so that's what's going on with that girl. Okay, but um, the reason I brought this bag out really was because I want to kind of show you guys what's going on. Okay, because this is actually wand curl as well so the wand curl that i wore in the previous video was a 12 inch now i have it right here this is the wand curl from the previous video okay you guys can see it right here it says on the pack that it's 12 inches and 12 inches is what i asked for this looks a lot longer than 12 inches but that's what it says okay now the hair that I currently have in right now is also wand curl and I asked for 10 inches. And when I asked for 10 inches, this is what I got, okay? So you guys can see that the curl pattern is different and the length is different. Like this looks more like a true 10 inch type of hair. This one over here looks a lot longer than 12 inches, but I'm gonna ask just to make sure that they did send me the right hair because what I was actually supposed to be reviewing was the same hair that I just took out, but in red. Okay, so it was really just supposed to be a switch of colors. I wanted to go ahead and review a colored style for you guys because all of the three previous videos I did for this company were all 1Bs. So. I wanted to throw up a color so y'all can just, you know, see. It's good to see different colors. I know everybody is not going to be buying a 1B. Some people may want red, blonde, you know, whatever. So that was the intention for this video. I am going to clarify um, and just make sure that this is actually wand curl that they sent right here. Um, and then I will put it across the screen just, you know, to verify for you guys. But what I actually think is going on is because it's a wand curl, I believe they use, you know, probably some type of, I mean, we don't know what they use, girl, but I'm just saying like when you perm rod your hair, sometimes you use bigger rods and then it's longer, but if you use skinnier rods, then it's shorter. So I'm kind of wondering if they used a smaller rod because this one is supposed to be 10 inches and then use a bigger rod on the one that's supposed to be 12 and that's why the curl patterns are different. I will be double checking just so you guys can know, but do know that this hair that I have in is, I ordered a 10 inch and this black one from the previous video, I requested a 12 inch. So yeah, it is what it is, girl. Um, I'm in love with both. This was not the style that I was expecting to achieve. However, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Like. I don't even know what to, girl, I don't have no cons about it. Like the hair, I do wanna say is a different texture than the 
previous wand curl that I did. The previous wand curl is a little softer. This one is more coarse. It's not like, ooh, like rough like that. It's not rough, but it is more coarse. So I do wanna let you guys know that. So I'm not sure, you know, once again, what's going on with that. Sometimes when you get colored, things change okay so yeah I, I don't know and that's another reason that I wanted to go ahead and review a color style for you guys as well because like I said sometimes when you start getting out of the one B's and the twos things start to change a little bit curl patterns might look a little different texture might be a little different and that's why I wanted to review this for you guys however even with those changes I'm not mad about it like I love the hair I love the style this is bomb I if this had been pictured on the website I still would have wanted to review it <laughs> this is just not the style that I was expecting based on the previous wand curl that I had this looks nothing like that but I love it <laughs> I love it and um yeah so you guys basically for this hair like I said it is a more coarse texture this is 10 inches this is the burgundy color I don't believe yeah, the actual color is not on here, but I believe this is just called BG, which is burgundy. And you guys can see that it is a one bead kind of burgundy mix and then the ends are very much red. Okay, so y'all can see right here. I mean, y'all can see it on me, but like when you look at the hair up close, you can really see how the color changes from like burgundy to like red, red at the bottom. So I love it i have no complaints you guys and as i don't believe that i showed you guys but i added in some hair paint wax so this is the hair paint wax that i use this is there's no name on this one but i i think there's only one red one on the website and i've had this for a long time so actually does this company even still exist anymore girl i don't really know it's been a few years but you can get any type of hair paint wax and i just picked up i've been having this red one and y'all can see how it looks so oh i used it in my eyebrows too in case anybody was wondering so basically all i did was just put some of the hair paint wax just on my fingers when i was done like i really installed the whole crochet put some on my fingers and then just kind of like painted it in down the middle as well i did the invisible part you do the invisible part. Let me get up close. So y'all can see there are no knots. I think that might be it, girl. I think that might be it. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna give y'all an update on this one. I love it. I love the color. I love the curl pattern. I love the texture of the hair. I love the way the style turned out. I love that I was able to use this hair paint wax, this red. It just looks so nice. You can also do like a can of like temporary hair spray if y'all know what i'm talking about like that people use to cover up their gray hairs and stuff you can pick it up from the beauty spy store or sally's or something if you want to spray the root of the hair to like a 1b to match you know your hair and then your eyebrows or you could do in reverse how i did and make everything red i was just like you know what this is cute this is cute and like when i tested it out in my eyebrows i was like yes uh, yes okay so i'm in love with it y'all no complaints i'm definitely gonna do an update for y'all absolutely and i will double check just to make sure this is the right hair but like i said i'm pretty sure it's just the perm rod that they use a skinnier perm rod to make it a 10 inches to make it a 10 inches to make it 10 inches instead of just giving you like a shorter version of 12 inch if that makes any sense i'm sure it does if you know how perm rods work okay so so yes that's gonna be it for today's video you guys definitely be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye